CFB, today's advisory lesson is on the TSI A2. What is the TSI? The TSI A2 tests students in reading and in math, and it tells the colleges if you are ready for college level courses. Regardless of your score, you can still go to college. There are two sections. There is a English section and a math section. In the math section, there are 20 multiple choice questions. Some of the topics that are covered include quantitative reasoning, geometric and spatial reasoning, and then probability and statistics. There is no personal calculator that is allowed on the TSI, but there is an on-screen calculator that you are allowed to use. In the English and writing section, there are about 30 multiple choice questions, and some of the topics include text synthesis, analysis, content revision, and editing for conventions. You may also be required to write a persuasive essay, but please keep in mind that you are not allowed to use dictionaries, but scratch paper is available. Not all students will need to take the TSI A2. There are some ways that you can be exempt from taking the TSI. Those include your SAT scores, your ACT scores, um, as some of the different ways. For example, if you had taken the SAT or you will take the SAT, if you have at least a 480 on your evidence-based reading and writing and a math score of a 530, you would not need to take the TSI. Same thing when it comes to the ACT. You need an overall composite score of 23, but in English and in math, you need a score of 19 in each of them. When it comes to getting that college ready score on the TSI A2, the English section will require a score of at least a 945 and an essay score of a five or above. In the event you don't get that 945, there is a diagnostic section you will be sent to and you still have a second chance of getting that score. For the math section, you need at least a 950 or above. In the event you don't get the 950 on the TSI A math, then you will be taken to a diagnostic as well where you need to get at least a six or above and you will then have the college readiness scores. What's the difference between the TSI A2 and the SAT? The TSI A2 is an untimed test while the SAT is timed. Take a look at the different topics that are covered in the TSI A2 versus the SAT. One other thing you'll notice is that the TSI A2 is a computer adaptive test, meaning that it will change according to the way you answer the questions. Whereas when it comes to the SAT, the questions will increase in difficulty as you're moving through that certain section. So when will you be taking the TSI? Uh, you will not need to worry about this until your sophomore year, but it will most likely take place during your reading classes or your math classes, but it will vary campus by campus. So see your campus about more information on this test. One great thing about this test also is that it is untimed, so you don't have to worry about getting certain sections completed in a certain amount of time. The test is completely online. You will take it while you're here at school um, and you are allowed to use scratch paper, but you gotta keep in mind that you cannot go back. And again, this is an untimed test. You do have multiple opportunities to take this in the event that you don't pass it the first time, that's okay. We will offer multiple opportunities throughout the school year and throughout your high school career so you can pass this. Some frequently asked questions. What if you have a disability? Well, good thing is there are testing accommodations that are available. Just please speak with your student services department to see about scheduling some of those accommodations that you may need. How can you begin prepping for the TSI? There are some uh, sample question packets that are available through College Board. Um, and also you can go directly through AccuPlacer, which is how TSI is administered and you can find information there. And as always, you can always, always find the information on CFB's website if you look under TSI A link. Well, that is all the information we have for this time. If you need uh, any other information, please feel free to visit our website. You can visit um, our, our pages on YouTube, on Facebook, as well as the CFB website. Until next time.